All right, so we have both ultimates, the Titan Warlord Clockman, which has crazy stats. Like, I mean, just, just take a look at this guy. This guy has insane stats right here. He has basically everything. But let's compare it to the Angelic Guardian, which is the leaderboard one. Like, uh, boy, what? He's actually not even good? Splash, piercing. I mean, blast range of 12, that's definitely something. Cooldown of one second, though. That's not as good. But his DPS, his base DPS is actually something. Wait, he's worse? Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. This guy's actually worse. What? What? Why is he worse? Uh, all right, you know what? Let's not judge too quickly, all right? Maybe in-game he will actually do better. But anyways, let's compare the both of them. Anyway, big shout out to this guy right here for letting me borrow the Angelic Guardian. And let's hop onto the game first with the Titan Warlord Clockman. All right, here we go. We're starting off. Uh, Since we can't really place him down yet. Oh my god, bro. This guy is so big. But anyway, since we can't really place down yet, I will just use a Titan Printer first. So uh, I'll be right back once I can actually place him down, as per usual. Which should be in about... 20 seconds or never mind it one more wave skip oh come on bro i really don't like this already i mean he does have an uh he does like have a full aoe circle right here so what's his range his range is 60 so we're gonna place him down right here there we go oh wait what damn infinite wait infinite what i didn't know my guy has infinite stunts i mean i did use him before but yeah let's take a look at his piercing and oh my god bro's piercing is insane yeah i mean we do have titan printer man at the back over here with taking care of all of these toilets so it's not really gonna be a problem but anyways we can already upgrade him at the start so do we upgrade him i don't think we need to upgrade him and i'm pretty sure he's already more than good enough so we're just gonna place on santa tvs and then we're just gonna you know we're just gonna upgrade them to at least level five and then yeah i'll be right back i mean like for real my guy's piercing quite literally carries him like it's so good like this is the best piercing i've ever seen on like something anyways we're all at level five right now so so in the next wave skip, we should be able to upgrade him once. And he's also providing cooldown boost. That's pretty insane. All right, there we go. There we go. This is a lot better. Now, I can't imagine like using a DJ TV on this guy. Using a DJ TV on him will probably be the biggest buff on this guy. Like, I mean, just take a look. He does 230,000 DPS already with a 0.5 cooldown. Just imagine what a DJ TV will do to that. Anyway, we can just upgrade him again. And oh man, he has even bigger aoe and take a look at that his attack literally goes out of his range or something his piercing is that good like like wait 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 just take a look just take a look just take a look see it literally pierces everything like what is this guy's piercing range he doesn't even have splash so yeah it just proves that this guy literally is all piercing and it's crazy good anyways i'm just gonna upgrade my santa tvs right now because i rather upgrade santa tvs because we are definitely more than good enough to fight everything and now that we have Santa TVs at level 7, we should be able to get that money that we need very soon in the next wave skip, which is right now. There we go. We're just gonna upgrade him. And oh man, look at that. He has turrets. I mean, I already know this because I used them before, but like, this is just insane. My guy literally has a lot of turrets. Like, he's not gonna have one, but he's gonna have like, what, three, as I remembered. And these turrets, I don't know what their DPS is. It's 10,000. Dude, that's a lot of DPS. My guy is doing, like, the Titan itself is doing 20,000 DPS, but the turrets are doing 10,000. And it's from one. Like, broken spawn three. Just wow, dude. This Titan always improves presses me bro it's just crazy and not only that the fact that he can also stun like i mean if you take a look he also has a stun time of six which is just crazy anyways we can upgrade him again and that aoe just got even bigger dude we're not even done upgrading him we still have so much upgrades to go i'll be back once i can upgrade him which should be right now wait hold up hold up hold up i just realized he has slowing he has a slowing of 60 percent oh yeah i don't even know how an angelic can beat this one all right there we go anyway here we go now we are currently at level six and this is not even max level bro this is not even max level this is insane how we are not at max level yet yeah we're gonna need a lot of money for this guy so i think what's best to do right now 
is we just upgrade our Santas. And we are also going to be upgrading our Titan Printer Man as well, so we can get even more money. But we're only going to upgrade the Titan Printers once. Because that $20,000 upgrade is definitely never worth it. So yeah, bring it back once I can upgrade him. And now we can upgrade him. There we go. Upgraded and oh man. This is his final upgrade right here. An ally health of 900,000? Wait a minute. You're telling me his ally health is, also, is almost a million? Oh man. Now that's just insane. I didn't even know. Wait. We have four turrets. I don't even know how we have four. I thought his max was like three. But anyways, I can just place down another one. There we go. We can place down another turret by doing this upgrade, I'm pretty sure. Because I think it's glitched. But anyways, we just maxed him out. And dude, take a look at that AoE. That AoE is just massive. There is no way we are beating the Angelic, man. I mean, there's no way we are not beating the Angelic. The Angelic is just broken. Uh, it's just... It's just what? Like, nothing compared to this. Like, the Warlord itself is broken. Anyways, we're just gonna max this out. Can we boost? Yep. Yep, we boosted him. That's even crazier, bro. Let's calculate his real DPS because I don't even know what his real DPS would be. There we go. 143, uh, 750, divide by, what's the number? 0.375. And the number is 383,333 DPS. Dude, that's just insane. And combine this with the ally dps of 50,000 and how many cannons are there there is uh one two two cannons all right we're just gonna count two cannons maybe the rest of them are like 30,000 dps in total so yeah that's another 130,000 dps so yeah this guy right here might be doing 500,000 dps like how dude you're broken you're beyond broken the reason i'm not counting these two as like what i don't know these three is like what uh 50,000 is because this isn't the max level turret as you can see i'm not so sure if it upgrades that you know but dude the fact it does that is just insane anyways i'll bring it back at like what uh way 50 for this one because this ultimate is most definitely the most broken ultimate in the game and yeah we're just gonna sell our money makers because we don't need those anymore all right everyone we are way 50 and we are pretty much still destroying everything bro how are we destroying everything at such wave all right there we go let's see 6.7 million health how are you gonna survive the moment you go very very close and you just got stunned so what i'm guessing it wait what the heck so what i'm guessing is like when someone reaches this point right here they get stunned for six seconds now that's just crazy but anyways i'll be back at wave 60 because because uh, I don't want to keep you guys waiting as always. Uh, guys, I don't know what just happened. But uh, wait, what? No, this is unfair. Oh, come on, dude. You got to be kidding me. Of course, I disconnected at the worst time possible. All right, everybody. I am finally back. And look at that. We are still pushing strong. And we are currently at wave 62. And we pretty much just destroyed the boss just now. And as you can see, we are now looking in detail of how good the clock turret really is. And as you can see, bro literally shoots bombs every millisecond. Like, how fast do you shoot? So yeah, I don't really know if it's 50,000 DPS. But who knows? Maybe it's more than that. Maybe it's less than that. I have no idea. Bro might be shooting like, what, 10 times a second or something. But yeah, as you can see, we are still destroying everything quite fast. Anyways, this rewind ability is pretty cool. But obviously, I'm not going to be using this ability. Because it's kind of pointless when you have a swarm going to your base. Unless if that doesn't happen. So I'll be back at wave 70. All right, everyone. We just reached wave 70. And as you can see, the slowing ability on this thing is way too good to the point that it quite literally still destroys everything even if it's 12.7 million health and keep in mind this is just one unit this is not multiple but this is one unit doing everything so yeah i can i can pretty much say that this unit is quite literally meta at this point for being this good and uh as you can see the only problem with this unit is uh the placement of this guy the placement of this guy is still not fixed which is preventing it from becoming a meta unit but is it a meta unit probably i don't even know dude but anyways as you can see we are still destroying 22 million health like that's just a crazy amount and this guy has an infinite shield as well which just makes him incredibly broken so yeah i guess i will see you guys at wave 80 because uh this is quite literally nothing for him all right guys i kind of have a little bit of a bad news but we are starting to slightly lose control over these things so yeah because of this i am not so comfortable 
confident in well pretty much getting to wave 90 but 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 there is a chance we can still get to wave 90 anyways what the heck we got an interceptor and even the interceptor is stunned everything is getting stunned and yeah it turns out i was wrong about this earlier because the stun ability seems to work like right here as well so i don't know what this middle circle really is i have a feeling that it might be like for booster units or something it might be like a booster or something so let, i'm gonna just place this right here and oh yeah it definitely is a booster anyways we're currently at wave 80 and we are starting to slightly lose i'll be back at wave 90 just to see how far how far this guy can really get and keep in mind we're doing this with one unit and it's still pretty impressive that with one unit we are doing all of this all right everyone we are currently at wave 90 and yeah we are starting to lose a little bit but keep in mind they still have a long way to go before they actually lose and what the heck bro these things are moving insanely slow anyways uh bro back at wave 100 i thought bro was gonna lose at wave 90 but nah he's gonna lose at wave 100 anyways everybody we're closing in on wave 100 so what i'm gonna do is uh never mind i'm not gonna do anything all right so the moment the broken heart goes at the very front which is unlikely i could have done that earlier like the moment bro goes in front i'm just gonna send him all the way back so yeah i'm gonna do that in bro please at least move the furthest all right there we go move the furthest bro he keeps getting stunned and yeah we're currently at wave 100 as you can see we pretty much destroyed everything but this so yeah, come on, come on, come on. Let me send it back. Oh my god, I can't even send it back. All right, there we go. I think I should be able to send him back in about now. There we go. I'm going to send him back. There we go. Perfect. And by doing that, he's going to be dealt with last. And it does, it's, it's going to be like a lot of time until the rest of them just die. So uh, yeah, we can deal with this first, which is what we actually need to deal with. And dude, we're currently at wave 100. Oh my god, bro. How is this guy, one person alone, one ultimate, being able to get to wave 100? This is just insane. Anyways, I'll be back at wave 110. Once again, don't want to keep you guys waiting. All right, uh, we're currently dealing with our first wave of issues right now. Let's see if the turrets are able to at least stop them. All right, there we go. There we go. This is our first wave of issues. These small things and... Uh, are the turrets going to be destroyed? Yep, one of the turrets just died. And that's another turret gone. And oh yeah, they're definitely dead, bro. We, we lost our turrets, everyone. We definitely lost them. Yep, we lost the turrets. But can all of these... Oh yeah, you know what, guys? We're definitely dead at this wave we're definitely dead at this wave we are not surviving this guys we're not surviving this entire wave right here yep we are toast we are dead i'll be back once we lose and there we go we beat 99 waves now that's pretty insane now let's see how the angelic guardian will do all right everyone five seconds until we can place down our first angelic guardian and take a look at this guy's range 85 and his starting range is 60 so i think we're gonna be placing down the angelic guardian right here so bro basically can and take over the entire map so yeah he will be right here there we go oh my god okay what this reminds you of the ultimate clockman like it the sword you know it really reminds me of that and what are these other abilities that are not even being used it's kind of weird anyways what's an angelic smite i have no idea what this is maybe this destroys everything just like the i don't know the future large clockman so yeah we're just gonna leave auto skip on wait a minute wait 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 hold up hold up hold up guys guys take a look at this you see that swipe right there does nothing that attack right there does nothing so you're telling me this guy has useless attacks well, that's the first time that I've ever seen a useless attack on a unit, especially an ultimate. Anyway, I'm going to be placing down my Santas right here, and we're just going to upgrade the Santas as usual. So yeah, I'll be right back once we're done with that, so we can proceed to upgrading the Angelic Guardian even more. All right, guys, I'm done getting all my Santas to level 5, so we're just going to wait until we have enough money to do this upgrade, which should be right now. There we go. Now his range is even bigger, and oh, what the heck? He actually just destroyed that very quickly. I mean, he still has that useless attack attack right here i mean just take a look at this attack it's pretty useless maybe it's the attack that only goes over here i'm not so sure what kind of attack this is though but anyways i cannot wait to use the angelic smite which we're gonna use right now what the what the oh my god what just happened uh i have no idea what's going on but uh oh oh what the hell bro that's actually crazy we pretty much destroyed the entire map with that bro what the heck anyways it's time to increase the range and upgrade him again and oh wow okay that's actually pretty good but yeah this middle circle is gonna be useless for quite a while and i just realized a cooldown of one second is definitely not gonna be very good for this guy so we're, what i'm planning to do 
is I'm gonna place down a DJ TV just so we can at least help this guy out because he definitely needs a DJ TV, all right? So yeah, we're gonna place down the DJ TV right here and we're just gonna upgrade him to max level. And let's take a look at his cooldown right now, 0.8. That's pretty good, but we still have not maxed him out just yet. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I see something going on with these toilets. Look at that. They have like some kind of circle going on. It's kind of like a cool ability. I'm not so sure what ability that is, but I mean, pretty cool, I guess. I will have to check the update blogs about this. So yeah, I'll go check it and I'll be right back. I'll tell you about it. All right, there we go. I'm at the update block right now. This is the Angelic Guardian. He has a magical piercing sword to get rid of the... Okay. And a smile ability. Nah, what is a smile ability, dude? I need to see what a smile ability is. I mean, I guess that is the smile ability. Oh, obviously, I'm kidding. This is the smite ability. It's just a funny misspelling right there. But anyways, I don't even see the piercing. I mean, what is this piercing ability? I don't see it. But anyways, let's upgrade him and okay his range doesn't even get any better like this middle circle range over here doesn't even get any better so i think it might be a bad idea to put him right here but it's whatever we can't really do much about that Twenty-eight thousand dollars for an upgrade dude that's a lot i'll be back once i can upgrade him all right everybody now i can finally do this upgrade and bro does 206,250 damage right now which is insane with a 0.75 cooldown i mean this is like uh boosted by a dj tv so i'm not really sure of the actual stats right now but anyways this thirty thousand dollar upgrade should be our final upgrade and dude the fact that bro has 85 range right now is just insane like what wait 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 85 range wait a minute oh you have 85 range i thought you have 80 range but you have 85 now that's crazy you're basically stretched throughout the entire map yeah if i just put you like a, oh hold up hold up hold up hold up now we can take a look at that ability oh yeah now that is splash so yeah, this circle right here is definitely the splash ability. Just, just take a look at the splash ability. Splash? Piercing? Oh, no, man. It's not... What? Wait, wait, wait. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. All right. So yeah, it is definitely some kind of splash ability, but I don't really see the piercing ability just yet. Maybe we have to max him out just to see that ability. But it should be right now. There we go. Max level. And oh my god. Bro literally covers the whole map. What the heck? Now that's just insane. Imagine a unit covering the entire map. Now I do have doubt on this guy because like what if you just take a look you compare this to the titan warlord clock obviously he is way better than this angelic guardian but you never know you know you never know until you actually see it happen so uh, i'll be back at wave 50 all right we're closing in on wave 40 anyway so it doesn't really matter let me just sell everything before that though all right there we go i'll be back at wave 50 all right everybody we are at wave 50 and somehow this guy is actually a lot better than i thought I thought he would already lose by the time it's wave 60, but never mind. He is not losing anytime soon with such good ability and range. But anyways, I'll be right back at uh, wave 60 this time. You know what? I have a feeling he may start to lose at wave 60. Unless if you use the smite ability, I'm not even sure how OP the smite ability really is though. Which we will test later when we start to struggle. Anyways, as we are closing in, we, we you, know, you know, you know what we just saw. We just saw something go all the way here. And yeah, definitely the thing that we are going to deal with right now, which is a problem, is of how we, is of how fast we destroy things. Because keep in mind, this thing doesn't even have slowing. And because of the fact it doesn't have slowing, well, it, oh my god, bro, bro literally destroyed the entire wave right behind. Because he doesn't have slowing, he's not really going to be that good. So yeah, anyways, I'll bring it back at wave 60. All right, everybody, we are now at wave 62, and I am surprised. How did bro destroy everything? And I swear I did not use the smite ability because if i did that would be a five minute cooldown which i definitely didn't even use the ability but anyways we're taking a look at right now how bro deals with 13 million health and it's not looking too great because the moment something with 22 million health sets in it's basically over for him is it not nah, 30 million health 30 million health is where it's over for him because as you can see it took a long time for him to destroy 13 million now just imagine something a little bit faster yeah he's definitely doomed for that but anyways i want to test the smite ability probably right now do we test it right now you know what guys i'm gonna be testing the smite ability maybe uh right now there we go let's take a look at that is 
bro gonna destroy everything? Uh, wait, what the heck? Is he actually destroying everything? No way, what the heck? That's actually insane. Yeah, he does destroy everything with that ability. But yeah, anyways, I'll be back at wave 70. All right, everyone, we're now at wave 70 and uh, we're still somehow at the same situation as the previous waves. So yeah, I'll be back at wave 80. I'm, I'm really waiting for something to change here. All right, everybody, we're now at almost that wave 80. And uh, as you can see, we are almost starting to lose. But the thing is, I'm not so sure what's going to happen once they go out of this circle range. Like, will they die a lot slower? Will it be single attack? Well, we are about to find out right now. There we go. Is it single attack? Yep, it, it is single attack. Is it? Never mind. It's not single attack. So yeah, it's definitely not single attack still. Never mind. It, it is single attack. It is single attack. It's just that these circles around them is actually a recurring ability that, destroy them, that destroys them over time. But uh, yeah, what? Wait a minute, why is this guy not taking any damage while being in the range? Alright, just, just wait, just take a look, just take a look. Bro is gonna be in the range, and he's not taking any damage. What? Anyways, let's use the smite ability right now and see how much damage that really does. And what? Yeah, that's actually a crazy amount of damage, but that's not enough to make us not lose. And uh, why are you attacking the wrong thing? You should be attacking this. And yeah, of course we lose. But we lose at 74 waves. So basically, Titan Warlord Clockman is way better than the Angelic Guardian. So do not get the Angelic Guardian. Get the Titan Warlord Clockman. Bro is still the craziest ultimate in the game. And that's it. See ya. And also subscribe.